Hey, this is Mark with KCOSDigitalMedia.com and we are here at the venue in Denver and tonight is Colorado Saturday Night Live format on KCOS worldwide broadcast and stream and I am here with an extremely talented, as you can tell, a lot younger than me, but far more experienced sounding, a band called Conax. What's up? Yeah, now, you know, we just learned each other's names a minute ago, so I'm gonna say, introduce yourselves. Oh, uh, well, I'm Kenny, I Kenny. play bass. Yes. Anthony, guitar. Dylan, drums. Alec, I'm on the vocals. All right, so I just got snuck into the uh, new CD last night and I had to play the whole thing because there was a quiz popped up. How did you like your, how did you like the music? And it was just beautiful. I mean, there's a mix between songs that range between, you know, really good rockers and then there's some really heavy screamers and a couple of long jams. So instead of just yeah going yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah you guys did it but really i we prepped this question earlier but uh okay what is your favorite track on the album to have completed and you know you're i know that you're proud of every single track but what's your standout tracks i think sleep paralysis is super mm. proud of that one sleep paralysis or distasteful did. peace of mind yeah because yeah. it's like I mean, strong dynamics definitely mm. I think the tail end of the album, you could kind of tell we got more comfortable in our recording space. Oh man, yeah. The, the first four, you know, they're, we're happy with how they came out, but mm -hmm. especially Sleep Paralysis and Distasteful, I think those ones mm -hmm. yeah. did Blitz, justice Blitz to Yeah, Thin them. Pantera Negra as well, I mean. Yeah, Pantera yeah. Negra, yeah, that was, that, I mean, mm -hmm. the styles just showed right through. You guys are, are mature for being so, and I'm, I don't know, I hate the young thing, I hate the old <laughs> thing, but. So going back to that, uh, your bio says what you guys started in 2016 or something like that. Yeah, it was initially me and then the old drummer, uh, Rory, and we just had some songs, we jammed a lot, and then we found Alec through karaoke. <laughs> my mom sent me a video of him uh, singing an immigrant song. I was like, give him my number right now. <laughs> and then we needed a bass player, but we just played some shows with that one and then we worked together, and then mm -hmm. I sent you the music, and then yeah, you were taught, down. Yeah, taught lessons at the same guitar shop. So. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, okay, you guys are teachers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you guys got any other crafts besides <laughs> you know, uh, vocals and, and drums? I mean, I already heard the sound check with the drums, and I'm not only looking like Mike Portnoy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that before. For sure. Yeah. It's funny. Uh, me and Anthony, our first band was like high school. Yeah. And Imagine actually, this. That was yeah. the name. Long ass time. And they were both on the guitar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm a guitar player, but um, he knew I played the drums as well. So things didn't work out with the old drummer. And <laughs> gave me a call, and I was like, Yeah, I'm happy to play drums, man, for sure. It started as just one show with uh, Saving Abel, and uh, just felt good. It worked good, and here yeah. I am. Yeah. 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 Was that with our friend Scott Wilson from uh, Sunshine Studios? He's the bass player for Saving Abel. Oh, I didn't know okay, that. Okay. Cool. I don't know yeah. That. So that's what I mean. You guys should hit them up. Sunshine, great family run venue. We love them down in Colorado Springs. Awesome, we'll they, be there. They would love you. We'll we'll vouch for them. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, um, you guys have another album on your website, which is really I like it too. Um, I've been I've told Anthony. I said I want to play that one too, because the diversity of your music. I mean, so we have. Colorado Metal Shop, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. weeknights. I would say about 50% of this new one is, is going on the Metal Shop. Mm -hmm. And then the, the other tracks, you know, like the first few that are more kind of like, would you call them melodic or how would you categorize the first few? Groovy, I, I would say the first uh, four songs on the album I could, I could classify as like some, you know, like some thrash metal, primarily based kind of music mm -hmm. and then uh, and then the second half of the album for me is kind of a mixed bag well I like I told <clears throat> Anthony I said well half of it's going to go in daily rotation from 2 a.m. to 10 p.m. and then the other half is on the metal shop so and then <laughs> when I get the when I get the first one yeah, yeah we'll probably divide that up the same way the first one was pretty raw because the way we recorded it was a lot different and we were in a really small space um, we did it all in like one weekend. Well, 
maybe a couple weekends, but... Um, All the guitar and drums had already been recorded for like almost a year by the time that I joined the band, mm -hmm. and then he had played the bass initially on that first album, so really I just kind of came in, played a, played a couple of shows, and it was feeling good, and then ended up tracking the bass on that album. Yeah, that was with the old drummer too, and since we've all developed and then we've discussed like getting the chance one day to re-record that album with more of the updated way that we play, and then Dylan on the drums, because he has his own style. And so, <coughs> that first nice. album, the songs that are on there are definitely, I think, thrashier, a little bit more raw, like heavy, true metal, and uh, those are some of my favorite ones to play live. I mean, uh, you know, Unleashed and Deathmaker's Parade. We're, like, we're playing a couple of songs from that album today yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, and I heard you're going to throw in a brand new surprise. We do us. have a brand new song yep. as well that yeah. uh, that we have not played at a show yet. I mean, we haven't played a we haven't played a show at all in the year 2020 yet. We took uh, we took a break from playing shows for the first couple months to just kind of you know get our stuff together for the album. And then, uh, and then the whole COVID thing happened. So, oh, you know, man. we uh, didn't have any gig. We had all these gigs lined up for March, April, May, and you know, this is our first time back on the stage. So yeah. well, we're, we're super excited. We're yeah. glad to catch it. Yeah, no, we've been doing this every Saturday and uh, hopefully every Saturday to come. But uh, that's the point I was gonna make with, you know, the first album. Um, so I, I could wait if you wanted to remix because I know there's been a couple of bands, it'll be a while there's a couple of bands that have asked me that's like okay we reworked a song because you know whatever will you replace it's, that it's not really in the near future yeah I mean we have it out on all that the one. you know I mean yeah. I, yeah I think that one's fair game <laughs> well, you know, that's it it's like okay so it's a milestone in your life of a band you know exactly I, I, if everybody's proud of it, that's cool. Yeah. And, and yeah. The new one I, sounds better though, just audio quality wise. Well, the, yeah, yeah that's, 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 that was, I mean, I was totally impressed. I, I told him immediately on a message, I go, man, I can't wait for tomorrow night. We worked with the same guy who recorded the first album, like the mixing recording engineer, his name's James Humple, or J-Bob. Yeah, we had a bigger credit. space <laughs> and we were able to like do track recording, but with bigger space and just get better sound recording quality, like each track. And, and then, the control room too was huge. Yeah, the control room was better. And then we sent the mixes to get mastered by somebody else, uh, Roger of Wave Cold Studios. Cool. Mastered it. He really knew what he was doing. He brought it to like that, you know, sounds like a real song. So. Well, yeah, well, we <laughs> like to give credit where credit's due, you know, and, and uh, also get the word out because, you know, this is a global broadcast. So um, the YouTube channel's been seen in over 200 countries. Sweet. Yeah, right. Just glad yeah. to be a part, man. Thanks for yeah, thanks having for us having be a part. Us. Well, you know, I gotta I'll give all credit to Michael Martinez for lining these shows up. Yeah, and, no kidding. You know, He's the man. It's like we talked about. You know, some bands aren't comfortable with coming down to Colorado Springs, even though it's an right. hour away. <laughs> but our show in the Springs is on a Wednesday night, so that makes it even harder for right. like, if you got a day job. Or, yeah, you know, but. And I understand you're going to be back for uh, Anthony the Chair's birthday, right? Don't yeah, July 11th will be here. It'll be all, I think it's all local bands playing it's through Wolfpack. Yeah. yeah. And then we're here. All the actually every show that we have booked right now is they're all here later in the year. Uh, Bullet Boys, Wolf Fest, and Faster Pussycat are the three through Wolfpack that are going to be here later in the year. Well, Anthony, love Anthony and Jim. Uh, they've they've welcomed us and said well you know you can do this and this i won't i can't say but <laughs> yeah we'll be around for wolf pack shows and awesome right it's great to see you know the young uh young people taking over the metal metal scene and doing <laughs> immaculate work uh is there anything that i didn't go over it's like really so you only were singing karaoke before you joined the band <laughs> <laughs> damn good yeah it was so. uh Basically like my 21st and I was trying to enjoy it a little bit and I decided to go up and sing some karaoke because I haven't, admittedly I do have a little bit of a natural talent for singing and I enjoy a lot of the songs that... A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the ego peeking out. Uh, a lot of the songs that I like to go up and sing are a lot of songs that most people don't really go up and sing because they're a little bit more vocally demanding. I just usually just went through with it all the time. Well, judging by the CD again, it's like, wow, 
you got a great voice. Um, and, you know, I wasn't trying to say anything about, oh, just karaoke, right? Because uh, <laughs> a good friend of ours, uh, Marie Yellum, with uh, Sabotar, started out doing karaoke and a few years ago, and she's always so modest about it, but she was named by Westward Magazine as one of the top five yeah. female metal singers. It's awesome. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, no know. shame in where you come from. And oh, man, that, you know, no, I mean, that's everybody that's famous talking. started out local. Yeah. You know, that's why we do that. We play totally independent music. We don't play. You know, there's Colorado bands that are plastered all over other media. We like to get the uh, the really everybody heard. You know, and uh, well, we appreciate that. Well, yeah. and that's it. So when they get the, the album on rotation, uh, because we're in auto format, yeah, there it is. Uh, <laughs> you every, got a flash, dude. Every yeah. song on the album. Wish we had a big vinyl. Oh, yeah. I know, yeah, that should have been the, the poster <laughs> board. Hit us up for a pre-order. We'll get them made soon. But every, every song on the album will be played eventually. That's how we've coded the broadcast server. Awesome. So it might be, you know, it's not going to be like a song a day. I mean, it's spaced out, so... There is a function on the broadcaster where I got to figure out how the, the bands can actually see when their music's being played. Cool. Right. We're, we're still easing into the, the nuances, and it's a software out of France, so they send me messages in French, and I got to go look for my, through my high school French book. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Google Translate. That's what yeah. Uh, anything I left out? I could think of anything really, man. I mean, we just like. A lot of the current metal bands are a certain, I mean, nothing against them. It's just a lot of it is like drop tune guitars and like screaming vocals, which yeah. I can appreciate all that stuff yeah, for sure. Yeah. Cool, when it's but, done well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. But When it's not, it's horrible. <laughs> we're more like, you know, the Black Sabbath and Metallica and Megadeth. Yeah. And like I know Motley Crue and Van Halen played it in a big influence on this guy. And I mean, we are definitely trying to like bring that style back you know what i mean I, I well, personally i'm i'm more from the the camp of like you know like sly and the family stone and like all that classic 70s funk is what yeah. i grew up playing so you know the the metal stuff uh is a little bit newer to me but you know it rocks about as hard as anything so i think because we're an old school style though it, like it matches mm -hmm. Like it matched your vibe really, really well. Yeah. Especially with your funk I think, style. I think you can hear the little bit of funky twist in uh, in some of these songs for yeah. sure. Yeah, there was a couple of different uh, signatures in through a couple of those, the longer songs. Mm -hmm. So I, I appreciate the construction that you guys do. You guys, like I say, are wiser beyond <laughs> you know your baby faces. <laughs> <laughs> I think the biggest thing musically is we just we try to be collaborative. I think I think we all value like being you but to get like each of us being our own people but like working together to make the sound happen instead of you know fitting in a box of mm -hmm. you know you're a metal we're saying okay and you work i'm gonna play this part and you're gonna play this part and we're gonna do it exactly the same every time right. yeah. it's, it's know, more like here's what i'm doing that. but now you do your thing with mm -hmm. it cool you know? try to stay true to the songs like if it wants to be funky man let it be funky if mm -hmm. it wants to be groovy let it be groovy if it wants to be heavy let it be heavy well i heard him in sound yeah, check and uh, i you let loose some funk slap bass a little bit yeah in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I guess uh, let's cut this in interest of getting it crammed into uh, the intermission. We're trying a little uh, different process here so that yeah. we don't have a, a drop in, in watchers or listeners. Uh, we want to keep it going instead of saying we'll be back in a half an hour. Yeah. So thank you guys for hanging out, sitting in, and talking yeah. to us about hey, Thank you, man. Thanks for having us. Thanks for being yeah. here. You guys, we'll, we need to have you down in, in the springs when stuff gets working. Yeah, hell yeah, we'll make it happen. Mm -hmm. But all the best to you. I can't wait to hear the set, and and we'll separate the set when the time comes. And like I told you, it's yours. Righteous. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks Ready. so much. Well, yeah. Conix.com, right? Conax.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah. C O N A X X.com. Yeah. There you Spirit go. Smoker. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hit the like on hit the like button on their Facebook page as well. Got a YouTube channel? We do have a YouTube yeah, channel, actually, and also yeah, Facebook, Instagram, <laughs> YouTube, you know, whatever. Uh, we've actually been coming out yeah. with a bunch of new videos and stuff lately since we haven't been playing shows and stuff. So mm. go ahead and check that out too. All right, cool. Well, have a killer set. I can't wait to hear it. Thanks. And, uh, you know, we'll right be on. back with uh, Sonic Temple soon.